at AO Eat is dim sum. So, OT has never had dim sum before. <laughs> and we're gonna try one out in DC called Da Hong Pao. I hope I'm saying it right. We're actually here. Here it is. Let's go, I'm hungry. Well, it's pretty busy, huh? We're out here in the Dao Hong restaurant. Uh, never had the dim sum experience, but Annie has been telling me about it. Uh, she says it's amazing. She's been to a lot of uh, dim, spot, uh, dim sum spots in Boston. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see how it is. We'll uh, have a lot of good videos and pictures. <laughs> yes. We're on a wait right now, so can't wait to eat. Um, As we're waiting, might as well look at what we want to eat. Yeah. Or we're looking you know at I gotta get that squid. That's I'm a squid junkie. So that's gonna be for me uh, the first option. Uh, Annie said that's good right here. You said it's good. It's real good. All right. And then um, thank you. We got seated. All right. Time to look. How do you feel? We finally got seated. It wasn't that long, so <laughs> I'm good. Um, but these colored menus are making me hungrier. So we're gonna try to get a good amount of them. Don't know how much we can eat, <laughs> but. We're really hungry, so let's see. Are you hungry? <laughs> yes. Okay, so he's choosing. Um, I want the egg custard. Let's get one order. Um, oh, right here, shumai. You got like two? Or do you want one, two? two. Okay. Um, oh, that's good. One order? Yeah. See how much you like that. Ooh, steamed pork bun. Oh, wait. There might be another bun. I do like that one, though. Um, yeah. Okay. We got some sort of tea. It's probably jasmine tea. Oh, if you was Mulan, you would have failed. A little sloppy. I don't know the right angle, but <laughs> looking forward to the tea. Yes, this is the place here. Nice and spacious. But they don't have the cart that, you know, usual dim sum places so have. The, the main thing that differs from your experience of dim sum, like they don't have that cart, anything else that's a little different than your um, experience? The cart was like the main thing, the main site when it comes to dim sum, you're always just like, ooh, what are they bringing, what are they bringing? <laughs> and then you like, they'll speak to you in their language and you pretend you know what they're talking about, yeah. but you just point, you just point and put Pointing. a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, maybe it's because of COVID times that they're not doing that right now, but. Yeah, this, this spot, it seems pretty packed, but also I, I feel like they are aware of capacity limitations. So yeah. There's some tables that are open. But uh, if you're like squeamish about Oh yes, we're ready. So the so waiter or the staff just came and he was just like, oh, we got 11 stuff. And we're gonna eat 11 stuff. Uh, the nice thing about it, I was reading reviews because that's what I do. And uh, they're saying that they come out really quick. So you put in your order and uh, in a matter of, you know, maybe not minutes, but 10 minutes or so, it should be back, you know, so. We'll get it really quick and we'll get to enjoy it. Don't mind my eye, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, let's talk about this real quick. Um, life lessons, y'all. The peroxide bottle can be mistaken for saline easily. Yeah, it's actually better now, but it was ballooned earlier. And that's just because we have saline and hydrogen peroxide. Uh, if anybody's ever felt hydrogen peroxide on, it, on your eyes, it's terrible. I felt like I was gonna die. But I better not, I'm ready. Yeah. 
we didn't go to the hospital. We're good. So, small little life lesson. Separate the saline and the hydroperoxide bottle. <laughs> we put it under the sink now. But anyway, back to the food. That was fast. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Alright guys, we got the beef crepe. I, I think I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> but the shumai here. We have the shrimp dumplings. Um, we have the pork steamed buns. And we have the beef shao fun. So... You ready for this? Oh. <laughs> He I'm can't ready. handle. <laughs> Be ready. Whatever you want. Alright. Before our other stuff comes, um, I'm gonna eat the shrimp shrimp. You wanna see it? Alright. Mmm. That looked delicious. Drip <laughs> drop it over there. Um, ooh, I should have asked for a sauce. That's yeah, what we need sauce. sauce. Yeah. Okay. So usually I would dip this in hot sauce or hot oil, um, but let's let's bite. Got mm. my mm. cute. <laughs> Is it hot? It's hot. It's steamy. It got flavor. Oh, we got more coming. This one right here is the chives dumpling. That's the egg tart custard. I love this. And the fried spring roll. <laughs> Alright, so I've never had a beef crepe. And uh, that's where I'm going to start. I was kind of curious how it tastes. Alright. Oh! It's actually really hard to, to get a hold of it's slippery. It's, yeah, it is. It's very slippery. Hold on. It's hard. I'm gonna get a little sauce. Ooh, Ooh more, yes. Looks good. I'll say it. I think so. <laughs> oh, um. What are we eating next? I'm actually gonna go back here. <laughs> what? No, go to another one. No, it was really good. Yeah, but we gotta review other things. All right, I'll go to the next one. All right, this is uh, is the pork buns. Mm-hmm. Okay. So very doughy. It's paper in the back. Yeah. So we're gonna I, peel I, I was, it out. I was actually gonna eat this. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I've eaten it before <laughs> on accident. I've had uh, pork buns before, so I'm kind of excited about this. Um, the, the, the look is weird to me. It's almost like it's not fully cooked, but I don't know any better. So anyways, let me try a bite. What's in there? Mm. Um, you see the inside? I do. Thank you. I do. Um, pork, obviously. Um, the texture is good. A little bit rigid. Um, the flavor, it's not, it's tough to really describe, but there's sweetness to it, so I like that. I like the contrast between savory and sweet, mm -hmm. but it, it's, um, I thought it's indescribable, but, uh, it's pretty good. I don't know if I'll get it again, or it would be, like, a flavor-worthy thing, but I enjoyed it. Now, At least you tried it. Yeah, I gave it a shot. Yeah. You want to try a little bit? Yeah, sure. All right, what are you trying? Well... I just got me some hot oil, so don't forget to ask for that. And then this is um, soy sauce, I guess? So I like to mix it. I think it's soy sauce. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Um, that'll be the sauce. I'm going to try the chive dumpling. Looking good. See how this tastes. All right. Can I have some? Good <laughs> job. Mm. It's good. It's not too strong. 
You know how sometimes chives can like be a little overbearing? Yep. Not too strong. I feel like it has shrimp in there. Um, the dough itself is like pan seared. Mm -hmm. Um, so some softness here, some some searedness there. How does the uh, the soy sauce add to it? Oh, actually, it adds. Yeah. Because the hot sauce and the soy sauce gives it that like extra flavor boost. Like say the salty, the spicy, yeah. and then this is like the herby. So yeah, I like this. Oh, this nice. Is a, this is a mm. will get again. Mm, look at that. <laughs> I'm about to eat that yummy, myself. Yummy, <laughs> yummy. All right, try try one more thing. Try one more okay, thing. Sets me on a dumpling side. Yeah. I'll try the um, shrimp uh, dumpling. I always struggle with this. There is has not been one time that I had <laughs> this with a chopstick and I didn't open it up. Look at that. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my fingers. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. The struggle uh, is dim real. Sum. Dim some um, experts out there. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'm using my fingers. After an hour. <laughs> We're going to dip this. Mm. 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 It's like how I remember. Yeah. It's very... It's... I got shrimp. Just know that. I got shrimp. Um, <laughs> but the shrimp is like... It's not shrimpy. Ground, ground shrimp. So they like put it in um, with flavors. Yeah, it's not too shrimpy. Yeah. But the dumpling wrap itself is all it's, it's all soft. And mm -hmm. there's some places that you'll find like hard, rough areas. Yeah. But this consistently is soft. Like, mm. So I think they steamed it right. So it's good. Oh, nice. Um, Get this again. I'm looking forward to having my squid. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. We're gonna we're gonna do that. So uh, I love squid, like I said earlier. So I'm gonna try this. I'm just gonna go with the thing. In. <laughs> when I looked at it, it kind of looked like uh, chicken feet. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that's on the menu. And uh, no offense to people that like chicken feet. I just didn't want to try it. But this is not chicken feet. This One is squid. Day. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, from the smell of it, it smells oily, so I don't know if I necessarily like that. Let me eat it. Mm. That's good. Um, a little bit on the oily side, mm -hmm. so I think if I add some uh, soy sauce or hot sauce, maybe, maybe some of the vinegar. The soy sauce is kind of like. I think vinegar they have some meat. vinegar, yeah. Um, try some this. We'll let me see. Um, better? That's better. Yeah. And real quickly, this is an easy thing to review. I'm gonna go for the spin rolls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Flaky. Mm. Yeah? I like the sounds of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very flaky. Great flavor. But the only thing I would suggest is like, less oil. It's kind of tough to be frying these things, but um, if there's a way to have less oil, it'd be perfect. Yeah? It's really, really good. Really good. So that's that. Okay, more food to go. All right. This is uh, the beef chow mein. Um, chow fun, I think. Chow fun. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he just splattered on himself. Oh, no. Got it all over my... A little sweater. All right. I'm adding uh, soy sauce to it. Mm. Like it? That's really good. That's um. I feel like this is the kind of dish you can get. You have like a lazy Saturday or a Sunday or whatever day you have. <laughs> Kicking back watching Netflix. I could definitely uh, eat this in uh, you know, bowl holes maybe. Yeah. But uh, really good. Um, Noodles with things cook really well. Um, not as much oil as the other dishes I tried. Um, and that little mixture of like some red onions that are lightly sauteed, some other greens that are lightly sauteed. So I find a contrast between things that are cooked really well uh, and lightly sauteed. It's, it's really nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh, maybe this one? Yeah, sure. No, actually, I want to try that one. You try this one. He loves the shrimps. 
Especially when it got its whole body. Are you gonna eat the whole thing? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Still got oh, his eyeballs, y'all. Actually. Got his eyeballs. Actually, I see a little jalapeno. Jalapeno. So I might add that to my bite. Oh, are you really gonna bite of, the I'm whole not, thing? No, I'm not a fan of eating the, the head of the shrimp. Okay, know, okay. People, they can suck it and everything. I'm not really into that. So, um, actually, this is a shell and all. I think this is a shell, too. Yeah, it's a shell. Yeah. Some people eat the shell. I think I should try You might like it. Yeah. A little bit of jalapeno, a little bit of this. It's good. I don't know how I feel about the show though. <laughs> I think in the next bite, I'm gonna take out. <laughs> You're like, what is this? I'm gonna take out the show and just enjoy the actual, the flesh of the shrimp. But I think it's seasoned perfectly, really crispy. And a little bit of jalapeno was perfect. Um, so I would get that again. Get that again? I enjoy that. Oh, Minus okay. the show. Yeah. That's what it is, y'all. But. I don't know. Some people really do eat the shells, the eyeballs, the tail, the legs. I can't. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. What? I don't, you know, I'm not even going to say one day. I'm not going to be there. I'm just not. <laughs> but it looks good. <laughs> I'll eat the inside of it. All right, more to go. Okay. So now we're going to try the Chinese broccoli. That's our healthy side. The only dish that's green. Well, actually, this is kind of green, too. Yeah, that is green. <laughs> <laughs> this, you know, green. <clears throat> this green sprinkled. But we try, we try. Okay. Here. Chinese broccoli. Um, I usually like Chinese broccoli. They put a little bit of gravy on it. So, mm. let's see. Mm. How does it compare to the broccoli broccoli? I feel like they should just call each other different names. Like, they just don't even, you know, the only thing common is like the crunch of the stem. But anyway, I think it's really good. It, yeah. It's super fresh. They didn't steam it too long so that it's like super, super soft, you know? Yeah. Um, it still has that crunch to it. The gravy is nice and light. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, um, like, certain broccolis or Chinese broccoli, can have like a bitter background taste. This yep. one, that bite that I had, it was no like no bitterness, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I could eat more. Um, yeah. So so try to get you a plate <laughs> if you notice that everything else you got is fried. Uh, <laughs> so that's what we tried to do. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. Okay. Uh. So now... Are we going to try that towards the end oh, or no? I'm going to try it right now, Second boo. Right? I'm going to try it right now. Alright. This is my favorite dish. Mm. 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 This is my favorite. Um, I crave this. I crave this, like, often. And they, they even sell it in the freezer aisle on, like, Asian stores. And I'm just like, hmm. But, anyway, this is fresh. I'm going to try it. <laughs> A little shimmy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means it's good. Mm. You gotta eat it fresh. Because there's something about the flakiness of the tart and just like all the flavors come together. Oh my god. I'll be so fat because if you have like 50 of these in front of me, I will eat them. <laughs> they, they're right. bite size too. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's eat. Order this. So let's see if we can actually eat the whole table. We'll try our best. So. We was really hungry when we got here. And I think that's the hard part. When you come to dim sum hungry, you probably won't be able to fit it through the whole yeah. Anyway, we'll be right back. Are you, uh... Careful. Oh, my. <laughs> we got a long way to go. We got a long way to go, y'all. It's really good. <laughs> it's careful. 
uh, it's gonna be lunch and dinner possibly. So if you do come here, uh, you know, we gotta cut it, order, cut it down. Yeah, order depending <laughs> on your appetite. Not necessarily what you want, but what you think you can eat. Cause it's it's a lot. But it's very enjoyable. Though. Yeah, I'm working on this. The bow. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna have. <laughs> We had to get some ginger ale because we get a full and ginger ale helps. I'm about to take a nap. <laughs> That's what usually happens after dim sum or during a dim sum. But I'm hoping this ginger ale could help me right now to get through more. Really, what I think I should have is some beer, but. It's pretty early, so I usually try to stay away from alcohol until like maybe five, six. But um, I think alcohol is good in the sense where it's going to break down that, that the oils and fats. So if it was a little bit later, I would do, I would do it, but not now. So no drinky drink right now. We're just going to do this uh, ginger ale and some tea. But damn, first world problems. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm about to take a nap. Um, <laughs> but it looks like we didn't eat that much. No, we actually. Oh, we did. We did, yeah. We did. Like I swear we did. Yeah. We just ordered a lot. Um, but it's time to tap out. <laughs> I just, like hit myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, we had a hammock nearby. I'll be out cold right now. I think he would be out cold in two seconds, but. I think my eyes are shutting. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Dim sum probably sprinkled some sleeping powder. <laughs> but we need some coffee after this. How you feeling? Tired. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe get a little espresso or something like that. We got to rate it. Kind of wake up. We got to rate it. Oh, okay. Okay. We're going to rate it. Okay. It's hard because dim sum is a variety of things. So... It would take us forever to like score everything individually. So I'm gonna think of it like an average. So for this dim sum, because it wasn't that experience and it's not their fault um, to not have the carts around and steaming and it's kind of like you just get it fresh out the cart. Um, it kind of like takes experience down a little bit. But the food, I would say quality-wise, a lot of things are fresh. Um, certain things are a little more oily than others. Um, overall, I'll give it a... Oh, oh gosh. A 3.9. But it also depends on the day and how I feel. Really? It's probably because I didn't get my coffee and I'm full because, I don't know... Maybe I ate too much last night. <laughs> it's close to a four. Let's just say that. Round it up, it's a four. <laughs> All right. All right. So what do you think? All right. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed this uh, place. It was like it was a good experience. My first time for some experience. Um, first thing, I'm not going to read it as high as a 3.9. I respect your opinion. <laughs> but uh, let's see. This is a tough one. It's not lower than a three, but it's also not close to a four. So... I guess somewhere between like a 3.3, 3, 3.3, 3.4. And the only, only reason why I say that is because I feel like they go a little bit too much in the oiliness. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to like maybe air fry the food. But um, yeah, that's the only reason why. Like the, the food actually tastes really good. But the oiliness is something that I'm not a fan of. So uh, I may come here again, maybe not. Depending on if you want to go. <laughs> you know, yeah, bring your friends and family and. Uh, uh, have your opinion of it. I definitely, next time if I do come here, uh, we'll have some like a beer or whiskey or something like that to help me break down. Uh, He's trying to get uh, crunk. <laughs> I am feeling tired. So. <laughs> Look at his eyes. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do for Yeah, Yeah, he's about to cross. Uh, yeah. So come here if you want. All so right. Dim sum. We ordered for literally a family of five. Yeah, and even that might be too much food for them. <laughs> so. so, we'll just eat this for dinner. We're going to go take a nap now. Oh, that was a good experience. Uh, definitely stuffed. 
<laughs> definitely tired. Definitely need a nap, but uh, <laughs> I do recommend this spot. It's a really nice spot. Um, look, maybe a little bit crowded for those who are you know nervous about the whole COVID thing. <laughs> yeah, that but, thing. Uh, well, other than that, uh, yeah, definitely come here and give it a shot. It's good dim sum. All right, time to leave and walk it out because we done ate way too damn much. See you next time. Peace.